Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, August 25th, 2021. If you like support channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the British pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have yet again found support down here at the 300 moving average as we did as well in July. Right now, we're rallying up towards the 20 exponential. And question is whether or not we get rejected here in the middle of the bullish band, which is at 1380. MACD is still a bearish, so the RSI is flat, CCI is bearish, and stochastic is bullish at this point. It has been rallying the last three trading days. And um, yes, question is whether or not we manage to break above the 50 moving average and go towards 100 and break above that. We're still in a downtrend. And um, if we get rejected here yet again, then the 300 moving average will mostly come back into play and break below here. Then we'll see this drop significantly further to the downside. So if you look at the US dollar and Japanese yen, as you can see, we have been back and forward. We basically at the bottom here at 108 and the top here at roughly 110. And right at the moment, we're in the middle of nowhere. This could rally to the upside. This could also break to the downside towards the 200 moving average break above. 110, then we may go and retest these previous highs here at 111. MACD is flat at this point, RSI is bearish, and CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is also becoming bearish. We're right underneath the 20, the middle of the Bollinger Band, so it is just a waiting game where this basically goes. So, Euro, US dollar, this has been rallying after breaking below 1170. It has rallied up towards a 20 exponential. And the uh, question is whether or not we managed to break above here. Last time we got towards the 20 exponential, this completely fell apart. And we may expect, expect something similar now or at the 50 moving average where we basically fell apart right here. So, break below 1160, then we are talking about much lower levels probably down to 1118 and then towards um, 1082 or give or take. So we're still in a downtrend. If you look, for example, in the cloud, we can see that we're definitely in a downtrend. We're way outside underneath the cloud. And we also have a selling signal right here. This was basically in the beginning of August and we haven't not recovered from that yet. So let's look at the, the Aussie dollar, US dollar. This has rallied. It fell off a cliff for several days, and now it has rallied roughly, give or take, 2% to the upside, right underneath the 20 exponential, right underneath the middle of the bullish band. So if we get rejected here, then it's very likely that we'll fall back down towards these low and probably all the way down to 0 0.69 or 70. MACD is still bearish, RSI is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is bullish at this point. US dollar is um, depreciating and um, that has definitely helped these currency pairs, some of them. If you look, for example, in the cloud, we can see that we had a selling signal all the way back here. This was basically in May and we have not recovered since. We, have de we are definitely in a downtrend underneath the cloud and uh, there have been instances where we could have broken to the upside right here but got rejected and we are also getting rejected right here at the 20, uh, 26 moving average. So if we get rejected here, get a negative candle break below this, and then it's very uh, possible that we'll go back down towards uh, 0 0.71. If US dollar starts to appreciate again, then watch out below. So let's look at the uh, US dollar, Canadian dollar. This has absolutely fallen off a cliff. We did break way above the 300 moving average, all the way up towards 12.94, and then we just fell down. So we dropped roughly 3% to the downside. And uh, we are right here in the middle of the Bollinger Band. Break below here, that could send this all the way down to the very bottom. And that means that we could be seeing this dropping a further 1.44% to the downside. MACD is still bullish, but it's about to cross the signal line becoming bearish. RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. Momentum is definitely to the downside. Question is where we'll find support. 150 moving average down here at 1241 could be um, could be an area where we'll find support or the 200 moving average right here at 1250, give or take. If, for example, look at the cloud, we can see that we are still definitely in an uptrend. We do have a 
buying signal right here. This was back at 8, uh, 18th of August. And uh, since then, we have not done very well. So we have not received a selling signal yet, but uh, the buying signal is still here and we're still trading above the cloud, indicating that the momentum or the trend is still to the upside. If we turn around here, then we may well go heading towards uh, 13.00. So hope you find it helpful. You will support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And good luck and thank you very much.